Yesterday, I went to film in a location in Seoul and on the way back, it was rush hour, there was no cab, the subway's really, really tight. So I decided to walk back to the hotel, which took about, no exaggeration, over two hours. So today, i uh, just gonna stay in and figure, let's order delivery. If you don't know, delivery food culture in South Korea is huge. You can pretty much have anything delivered to wherever you are. Even if you were at a park, by the river, people will deliver food to you. And you know, usually in the US, when you order something delivered, sometimes the packaging is leaking all over the place. It looks like the food themselves just came back from Six Flags. Oh no, not here in South Korea. Downloaded the delivery app, Yogio. Let's see what we can find at 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, first delivery is here. Let's go. First order that came, I think is barbecue pork. I was just really happy to find a restaurant that, that served us at 10 o'clock in the morning. And notice the biggest difference between doing delivery food now um, and when I did it last time, the packaging is, is, is completely different. Last time all the food was in beautiful cardboard boxes. The layout was gorgeous. But I think because of COVID, there's a new, um, rule saying that food has to be sealed. That's what people online were saying. So packages now, it, it's just, the beauty has gone. Well, the beauty is within, but on the outside, not so much. So now it comes in these completely sealed containers. And here, porella leaf, nori, radish, sauce. Oh, look at this. So they give you this little, little kit here that contains gloves, um, sesame oil, a little container opener. Check this out, that's kind of cool. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Doing it the old fashioned way would have been a little tough. And now, uh huh. Rips right open. As soon as the containers open up though, it's starting to smell good in here. This dish is I ordered a order of pork and it, the pork comes with uh, squid, cabbage. Where's the pork? So here it is. This is pork belly. If you eat at the restaurant, this dish is gorgeous. Of course, not gonna cook it in your hotel room for you. So when it comes to you, this is what it looks like. Rice is beautiful. There's some furikake, some caviar, some sprouts. Let me see some of the squid here. This is so good. First of all, it's spicy. The sauce is rich. Flavor 100% penetrated every single piece of vegetable, pork, seafood. The octopus, so tender, so tender. And in the pork belly, the pork part just does a little umami explosion in your mouth. You're tasting all that delicious fat. Combine that with a crunchy caviar. And I haven't even utilized all the ingredients yet. Perilla leaves here, so, ooh, Nori's kinda, Exploded a bit here. Just gonna scatter the nori on the rice here. Perilla leaf, add a bit of sprouts. Some of that uber flavorful rice and nori and seasoning. Piece of pork belly, a little cabbage. Oh, forgot about the sesame oil. Drizzle that sesame oil all over the food to give it a bit more aroma. I think this is some kind of sauce. Some mayo, put that on top. Let's do that again. I mean, there's gonna be those days where you don't really wanna leave the hotel and the hotel food just isn't cutting it. But in South Korea, whatever you wanna eat, people will deliver it to you. I mean, it may not look as pretty as it did last time, it does not change how good this is. Hmm. Forgot about the radish. Radish, little octopus, sprouts, nori, whatever you wanna add in there. Wrap it up, down the hatch. Well, I can't wait, actually. I need a spoon for this. Some of that rice seasoning, some of the caviar, some nori, and a little chunk of rice, and then just sink it into that delicious red sauce. Pick up a little cabbage on the way. One bite, and you'll want to do that again right away. This time, grab a little pork belly. Mm. I think I showed this before, but this stuff tastes like I'm sitting at the restaurant and they just 
served every one of these dishes right in front of me. That's what it tastes like. This is one of the few countries where you can stay at home or wherever you are and pretty much experience full on restaurant dining. This is all just unbelievably good. Oh, actually, I just realized something. I think the rice is supposed to be made into a rice ball. You take the rice, nori, caviar, all that, and you make a little rice ball. And then you can take this and dip it in the sauce. Mm. There's also some rice cakes in here too. Mm. Bite of that, bite of rice ball. Mm. What is a dang good first meal of the day. I'll see you at lunch. Lunch is gonna be baby kitchen. Just as I was about to hit up with lunch, um, the next order is here. All right, lunch is here, and lunch is gonna be a two-parter. First of all, got some fried chicken from BBQ Chicken. Whoa, BBQ mask. That's nifty. This is what, like one of the only places that doesn't have the chicken inside the uh, sealed containers, um, which is good because I think that's gonna really just make the chicken way too soggy. Oh, look at this. BBQ pineapple and mayo sauce. This, the only thing about this is kind of shaped like beverage packs. So don't accidentally get this and start drinking it. Sliced radishes here. And the flavor I got is crunchy butter. Oh, this is it, crunchy butter. It looks like some chili powder on top as well. Oh, this is nice and crispy. This is making my heart flutter. So good, so good. Oh my goodness, it's so good. BBQ chicken, one of my favorite chains here in South Korea. The batter is just incredibly light. And when they say it's crunchy, it is crunchy. Also has a little powdered cheese topping, which gives it a little tiny bit of sweet flavor. Then the chilies kick in, and all that is just wrapped around the most deliciously juicy chicken. One of the reasons I love Korean fried chicken, it's so light. When you take a bite out of this, it's not overly greasy. It almost feels like you're eating something healthy. This is the best part. Crunchiest part of the skin. Again, the flavor, it's a little spicy, very buttery, very cheesy. Mm. I don't know if you guys can hear the very subtle, yet very explosive crunch. Look at this perfect drumstick. I mean, I don't know how long this chicken has been on the roll, but everything feels so incredibly crunchy still. Oh, that chicken is juicy. Again, the skin, that's what I'm talking about right here. So thin, ever so light. It's like look, biting into little crunchy chicken chips. And the seasoning fits this chicken so well. Mm. And when you feel a little bit greased up, Take a bite of radish, clear up your taste buds, then you're good to go. This is the, what is this, the barbecue pineapple and mayo sauce. Oh, I wish I could take this home with me. So creamy, yet so fruity, and all sorts of delicious. I haven't had traditional Korean fried chicken since coming to South Korea yet. This is just hitting all my cravings right now. All right, lunch number two. Banchan, sauce, Ooh. udon broth. My cheesy katsu has arrived. And this is a really good deal. About $9 for the udon and this katsu set. Banchan, radish, little salad, little rice, four pieces of cheesy katsu. Look at this. Cheese is still gooey and nice. Ah. How beautiful is that? I mean, the US, if I got my pizza delivered and the cheese is kind of runny, I feel lucky. This is still gooey like it's right out of the fryer. Mm. Oh, the outer layer of the katsu is so light and crispy. Dip it a little bit in the katsu sauce. Mm. The pork is tender, the outside fried to absolute crunchy perfection. Gooey cheese in the middle. I mean, just listen to that subtle crunch. This is a udon broth. This is still hot. Little hot oil. And slurp. Like I said, katsu. 
udon banchan, the whole set, about $9. And it comes to you with the cheese still gooey. All right, I'm gonna finish lunch, maybe hit the gym a little bit, and then uh, just something special for dinner. Dinner, seafood feast. All right, I'm, I'm kind of nervous because this, this container doesn't look like something cooked seafood is in. So I just opened this and I'm just saying a little prayer, hopefully, because I'm clicking things on the app. Sometimes I, don't, I may not know what I'm clicking on. I'm hoping I didn't just accidentally order a live container of seafood. <sighs> yeah, this is cooked. Whoa. This is all steamed clams. This, this bag is just prawns and, and shrimp. Okay. Oh my goodness. I just saw something crazy. Look at this. Wow. This is a giant bag of fan clams and sea snails and abalone. This is all glorious seafood in the most unglorious packaging ever. <laughs> I just, I don't have a big plate to put this in, so I guess I'm just gonna eat seafood off shopping bags right now. So the dipping sauce is just cho gochujang, which is kind of like a vinegar-based um, gochujang sauce. A little wasabi, spoon. I don't know why we got a spoon. Soy sauce, chopsticks. Okay, so I just used the lid as the plate and piled as much seafood as I could on this. This is the dinner seafood feast. Here we got tiger prawns, abalone, white clam, red scallop, fan clam. It's just so much, it's so much. It's, ooh, real wasabi. Little soy sauce. Don't even know where to start with this. Tiger prawn. First of all, uh, the seafood is incredibly fresh. Everything is 100% freshly cooked. And the reason it's so fresh is because it's from Noryangjin Fish Market, the biggest fish market here in Seoul. So you're not gonna get anything fresher than this. Dip it in a little wasabi, a little soy sauce. Mm, just the sweetest thing. They're eating a lot all day, so I wanted something relatively light for dinner. That's why I order seafood. And what a good choice this was. Abalone. Oh, this is so awesome. Mm. That's one of the most tender pieces of abalone I ever put in my mouth. It's all these ginormous clams. I like dipping in the soy sauce and wasabi. Mm. You can just squirt it everywhere. I'm trying to locate a piece of the scallop. Oh, here we go. Red scallops. Oh, whoa. Little muscle next to it. I think this clam was trying to eat this muscle. Little did it know. It was gonna become part of my muscle. Huh? I really, really wanna try this. Oh my gosh. This giant fan clam. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is a behemoth of a clam. Oh, that was just so sweet. That thing just has the most subtle sweetness. The texture is kind of crossed between a scallop and a clam. This is probably one of the most magnificent seafood feasts I've ever had delivered to me. I think last time I had snow crab, which is amazing too, but the variety of this, and it's cooked so simple, just steamed in its natural juices. So every single piece of the seafood is just perfectly tender with a slight bit of brininess. Oh, especially this conch is so delicious. Like I said, every single piece, sweet, briny. Mm. So tender and most of all, retains their unique seafood flavors. Oh, this is so cool. This is a red scallop um, that has tons of barnacles on one side. And the other side, it's trapped in oyster. Huh. This is a bonus oyster. That tastes better because it wasn't even supposed to be there. All right, gonna finish this and uh, see what I can find for dessert. Finally, dessert is here. 
Oh, this is pretty. It came with Dalgona. This is the, the Squid Game um, candy. And the dessert is strawberry shortcake. This is one of my favorite dessert items in South Korea. Fresh strawberries, cream, moist cake on the bottom. And if done right, and this is done right, my cake is just heavenly. Wow. Strawberries are fresh and so sweet and juicy. A layer of the softest cream and then the gentlest, moistest cake on the bottom. I don't know what part the dog gonna place in this. That is super toasty and caramelly. This is just the most perfect way to finish off this amazing food day. So today, finish the spicy octopus and pork from this morning. The katsu set, finish about half of the fried chicken. Gonna keep the other half for breakfast tomorrow morning and finish the seafood. I mean, it's a lot of seafood, but at the same time, it's mainly shells. I've been looking forward to doing a delivery food video since coming back to South Korea. It's just because it's so much fun. You don't have to go anywhere. Pretty much every single restaurant, including McDonald's, all the fast food places, every place delivers. So again, if you're ever here, you don't wanna go out, but you still wanna get your fill of food, just do what I did. Also, I think there is some misinformation. I think some people online are saying that you have to be Korean to order delivery or you need like a Korean ID number or bank account. That's not true. Just download the app. You can pay for it with a card when the delivery person arrives. It's just so amazingly convenient. Good morning. Breakfast, leftover fried chicken. Oh. How is it still crunchy? What is this witchcraft? I mean, it's not crunchy like it just came out of the fryer, but overnight fried chicken shouldn't be this crunchy. This overnight fried chicken in South Korea tastes better than the most fresh fried chicken I had in the States. The other shell, still crunchy like, like I'm munching on really airy, cheesy popcorn. And listen to this. <laughs> whatever is going on here i absolutely love it and as always thank you all so much for watching until we eat again see you later